Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's gonna be a video that I've been wanting to make for so long and it's an anti-haul. Now to those of you who have never seen an anti-haul or anti-haul uh, here on YouTube before, I think it was a concept, I think it was Kimberly Clark here on YouTube who first came up with this series and I think um, it's just hilarious. Basically you talk about things that you've been kind of thinking about, things that are like in your cart on Sephora, things that are just on your wish list, things that you want to buy, but you're just like, yeah, should I? No, I'm not going to buy it. This is really just kind of like as a counterbalance to all the unboxing videos that I do and the reviews and the tutorials using all these products that really kind of encourage people to buy new stuff. Really think about your purchases. Don't just blindly buy, buy, buy. Really think about what you need in your collection. So the first thing on my anti-haul list is something that's not makeup related. Everything else is beauty and makeup. It's a Balenciaga purse. Now, honestly, I don't own any luxury designer purses. You know, when I'm speaking about luxury, I mean things like Chanel and Yves Saint Laurent and Fendi and those kind of prices. I do own nicer purses. I've gotten rid of all my sort of cheap fake purses. I got rid of all those because I just don't wear those anymore. I've never really bought an expensive purse, like a super expensive luxury purse. And the one that I've always, I've always thought was super beautiful was the Balenciaga purses with the hardware on them. I always thought those were just beautiful bags. They were kind of a trendy bag a few years ago. It really actually goes along with my style. I wear a lot of black. I wear a lot of things with like hardware on it and stuff. So it would really suit my style. You know, it's not like I can't afford to buy a designer purse. I've just never done it. And I've just never bought a super expensive designer purse because every time that I think about that money, I'm just thinking, Think of all the other cool things that you could do with that. You know, I could go on a trip and that's why I've never bought it. I've just always thought about that purse, but then I realized like I don't need a super expensive purse to validate myself. I might buy it sometime in the future. Putting on this anti haul list is just kind of a reality check for myself. But on the other hand, I'm like, well, a purse is something I would carry a lot. But I'm just like, no, I don't need a thousand dollar purse. I just don't. I don't need a purse to carry around my wallet and keys. And I don't even carry around that much stuff. I like small little purses and I don't even know what I would put in this bag. And I'm also, I also know that I came out with a backpack recently. So I'm kind of like tempted to buy the backpack because I love wearing backpacks. But I'm just like, what? It is so much money on a freaking purse. Like spend it on a trip, you'll probably get more enjoyment. This might be controversial to some of you, but I don't think I ever am gonna buy anything from Kylie Cosmetics. Now, I know that brand is very kind of trendy right now on YouTube. I am just not going to buy into that. That whole Kardashian-Jenner clan. I am so sick of hearing about them. And I live in Switzerland, so I am very insulated from them. They are not on my TV. I don't have to read about them every day in the paper, but I can just imagine how much more intense that would be in the USA. You guys are probably so sick of hearing about them. The Kylie Cosmetics products from what I've seen on YouTube have just been so mediocre. The lip, I, I don't like liquid lipsticks. I don't really tend to wear liquid lipstick and everything that I've seen has just been so mediocre. And the other major reason that I don't wanna support that brand is because um, Kylie Cosmetics has ripped off Instagram makeup artists, or not even just Instagram, just makeup artists who post their work on Instagram. She used um, a promo picture from a makeup artist. They, she basically completely copied that image. So her team, they, used, they did an exactly same copy of his work and used that to promote um, their metallic lipsticks or something. And they gave no credit to the artist who had originally come up with that um, image and that creative process. So they just completely ripped him off. And I think he actually had I'm not quite sure, but I think he had to go and sue them to get any kind of recognitions. But just ripping off other artists when you obviously have the money to pay this guy for his creative effort is just completely wrong to me. I will not be supporting this brand. You know, I've done a few obviously Kardashian looks and stuff, and I think that's fine because people do wanna see those kind of looks, but I will not be buying any, any of their products. They have enough money. I'm not interested in the brand. Next up, we have a product that has been very much talked about here on YouTube, and that is the Armani Power 
Power Fabric Foundation. Now, since this foundation was launched quite recently, it's been really hyped up here on YouTube. I've seen a ton of reviews on it. A lot of the reviews have been very positive. It's supposed to be very high coverage, so a very, very high coverage foundation. This is a $64 foundation. Now, this is the price from Sephora.com in the USA. The only reason that I was really interested in it in the first place is because people were just raving about it here on YouTube. So there is that kind of hype around it. You know, I don't need to, I don't need to buy into every hype here on YouTube. I'm the same way. You know, I obviously get sent a lot of products, but I also watch other people's beauty videos. And so when people are just kind of like talking about a product that they love and it's kind of like this hype going around, I've purchased stuff like that. Then I realized like, I just don't need foundation right now. I have a drawer full of foundation, nice foundations, high end foundations um, that I just haven't even really used up. I'm not saying I might not buy that foundation in the future. I might cave. But at this point in time, I really want to use up the stuff that I have before I buy new things. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. Lancome La Rose Blush Poudre. I'm just looking down here at the information. It's this pink box with a fake flower inside it. I mean, yes, I've got fake flowers here. Let's get real. But I'm not going to buy a makeup product that has a fake flower inside it. There's a powder scattered in between the petals of the rose, which is supposed to be like a highlighting powder. Now, I don't think it's really supposed to be used as a highlighter sort of on the tops of your cheekbones. It's meant to be more like a sort of a glow powder, I guess. This thing costs over $60 right now on the Lancome USA website where it's actually just sold out. I can't believe people actually want to buy this. I think has like one point something gram of products. I can't find the information here on the site because it has been sold out. So apparently they're not even showing the information anymore. It's just ridiculous. I mean, $60 for such a minimal amount of product is a complete ripoff. This is basically just a glorified cardboard box with a rose in it. It's like, I honestly feel like Lancome just thinks we're stupid that we would buy this because that is just a ridiculous amount of money you know for so little product if you want that kind of finish that glowy look i would highly recommend the hourglass ambient lighting powders will give you almost the same effect as this you're gonna be getting a lot more product so the next product on my do not buy list are the new lipsticks by Yves Saint Laurent, Volupté Tint in Balms. Now the Tint in Balms, these are basically this beautiful packaging that we know from Yves Saint Laurent. I think it's very classy and I think that's all fine. And I think they have made some gorgeous lipsticks, but this is a tint in balm. This is basically a glorified lip balm. Yes, it's nice, like it's juicy. It makes your lips look nice, but you could easily get this at the drugstore for a much, much cheaper price. So these currently retail for $34 on the US Sephora website. I think that is just a crazy amount of money to spend on a lip tint. You know, Maybelline has just come out with their baby lips range. I'm sure they give you a very similar result. This is not a product that's going to last you all day. This is something that you're gonna have to reapply because it's just a tint, right? So this is going to smudge much more easily when you're eating or drinking or something. $34 for a lip tint just doesn't, just no, no. Okay, a last foundation that's on my anti-haul list is one by Hourglass. Again, one that's been talked about a lot and it's called the Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. So it's a stick foundation. So it has a very strong uh, coverage. I'm um, supposed to be very weightless, uh, has the fluidity of a liquid. It's very long wearing. It's supposed to be waterproof and just undetectable full coverage. So that's what it says on the website. So it sounds wonderful. It's like, yeah, so it's $46 on the Hourglass Cosmetics website. I'm assuming it's probably the same on Sephora. $46, that's not totally out of the norm for high, higher end foundation. So you kind of think, okay, yeah, that's, that's like fine for a high end. So this only contains 0.25 ounces, way less than a normal foundation. Like most foundations, like liquid foundations are usually like this kind of size. So they're usually 30 milliliters is one fluid ounce. So if this is one fluid ounce and the, the thing is 0.25 ounce, you're getting that much product, $46, like this much product. What? Like that, that is insane. Again, these prices of these products are just crazy. Better ingredients means higher costs, which is why, you know, I'm willing to pay a bit more for foundation, but not that much. Like seriously, are you kidding me? $46 
for like a quarter of an ounce, you're gonna be going through those so quickly. And even though I've heard so many wonderful things about the foundation, you can probably find another really good foundation for that price that will give you, so, or that quantity, or what I'm trying to say is a normal quantity foundation for a much cheaper price. I don't need that an expensive foundation to get good results. Now, some people might say, well, you might, you know, use less and stuff and that's fine, but there's still other foundations where you also don't need a ton of product. So I don't think that's really a valid argument. So that's it for my first anti-haul video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please let me know what's on your anti-haul list. Um, and let me know if you want to see this video again in the future. Again, I'm not trying to bash any of these brands. I have products from all these brands um, that I love and that are wonderful, but these are just some things that I don't think I need. Please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.